Hey guys, so uh, I'm still over here in Moses Lake. Uh, I've been using my friend's driveway and stuff and uh, um, hanging out with him. Uh, he's working today and it's Monday. Uh, I can go and get the uh, birth certificate now. So I'm gonna go order it from the health department. Then I gotta go pay uh, my cell phone. I, I'm on Cricket, which is real cheap, but uh, it's not everywhere, I found out. It's pretty l limited in certain states. But uh, I'm gonna go and pay it because they actually have a Cricket store here. So I, I'm gonna stay on the same cell service, at least for the next month. We'll see how it is when I start heading down through uh, California and everything. I might switch cell phone providers just so that I can actually have service. But uh, I'll, I'll talk to you when I get on over to the uh, health department and um, let you know if I got it ordered and everything so that I got all my stuff that I need to get the social security card so I can start doing some day labor. So I'm the rest of the way down through California on my way to the slabs. I'll talk to you later, okay guys? Hey guys, there's the junior high school that I went to when I grew up. Uh, I went there for seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. Uh, because at the time it was a junior high school system instead of middle school now it's uh, middle school instead of a junior high so but it's Chief Moses middle school it was Chief Moses junior high the car wash up here on the left hand side I used to go there all the time to wash my car and stuff when I lived here that was that was the car wash and this was a pretty popular convenience store at lunchtime when uh, I was in junior high Hey guys, the Safeway Food and Drug right there was the uh, first job, like uh, official job. I mean, I changed water and stuff for farmers, but that was the first official job I ever had was bagging. All right guys, I'm over here at the uh, health district again. Let's try this over. <laughs> Friday I couldn't get in if you didn't see it because uh, they were closed on Friday. I had no clue that uh, agency would be closed on a Friday. All right, guys, so I had to fill out this yellow form here, so I had to know my <clears throat> parents' information back then in the hospital I was born in and stuff. And then uh, here's the uh, um, the receipt. It cost me $60 for it, and uh, it'll be ready tomorrow after 3 o'clock, so that's awesome. And uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm going to head over to pay my phone. Hey, guys, I can't find a cricket store for the life of me. So I'm going to go check out Verizon, see uh, what their pricing is now and everything, and uh, see about maybe going that route since I'll have better coverage while I'm traveling it anyway. Hey guys, the Verizon there, the, somebody at the front table had given me kind of, or desk or whatever you call those, had given me a hard time about having uh, my camera on and stuff. So I kind of just left there and uh, I might go back there still, but I haven't decided. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go out of here for my social security card. So anyway, so I may just go into a different town. I just, they didn't just ask, they kind of gave me a hard time about it. So it was a little weird. Um, Right now, I was gonna go cruise by uh, the plant my friend works at, because uh, I guess they added on it to it a lot from when I was here last in Moses Lake. So I'm on my way there right now, and uh, I should be there in about two minutes. And I'll, I'll, as I drive by it, I'll, I'll show some video of it. There it is, guys, off there in the distance. Um, I'm gonna go around the backside too, but. What they do there is they um, make three grades of uh, silicone. Uh, they make silicone for silicone wafers, and then they make silicone for solar cells and uh, some other application that I don't remember anymore. But the plant is quite a bit bigger now. All right, guys, there it is on uh, this far side. And 
the company's called REC Silicone. So they're they got bought out. It was ASME when I used to live here. REC Silicone is what it was called. Um, it was ASME, and then ASME opened a big plant in Billings and shut the and uh, we're closing doors here. And then uh, a Swedish company bought it out and started making wafers. And then this third company had purchased it. It's publicly traded. Um, they produce silicone for silicone cells now, which is more stable than than uh, the silicone wafer market. Hey guys, so when I was younger, I used to live. I used to right out of high school. Uh, I used to work over here in this uh, building over here a lot of this other stuff wasn't here originally but I used to work over there and we used to process all of the uh, lye here left over from the sugar beets which is what these big mounds are is they mix the remainders of the sugar beet from the sugar beet when they're uh, making sugar out of them and then uh, that ages there for you know few years and then it makes a really really good uh, soil reconditioner for the farmers so that's what I did um, the summer after I graduated from high school I worked making uh, turning this stuff into soil reconditioner for farmers hey guys so I'm kind of curious is whatever happened to the old farmhouse that I lived in we had just a tiny little 10 acre farm with a little bit of an orchard um, the land got sold off a few years back and stuff but uh, I'm curious to see what happened with it so I'm gonna drive over by that um, it'll be a little bit I'll show you some of the scenery on the way out it's not much but farm fields but anyways I'll see you there Where are you trying to get to, man? Uh, I'm trying to get all the way to Lake Tahoe, actually. Are you? No shit, man. I'm actually traveling too. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. So I, but uh, I'm here visiting people that I know for a little while. Uh -huh. Um. I. What's the best way to Tahoe? Would it taking you down this way help at all? Yeah, I, that, that's what I heard. I heard uh, go to Tri Tri City. Uh, sort of like, uh, what is it down here? Spokane? That area, and then there's a highway that runs, runs me towards uh, Reno. I don't know which one that is, but I, I guess I'll find out when I get there. So I changed my mind about going to the old farmhouse. Uh, I'm gonna take this guy who's a fellow traveler over here, say hi. Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna give him a ride down to Tri-City so he can go further on to Lake Tahoe. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, we just got cruising here into Tri-Cities and uh, I'm taking a trip down into downtown Kennewick here to see if I can find uh, some Wi-Fi and then also this will keep him, uh, uh, what was your name? I didn't even get your name, what a douche. Brock. Brock? I'm James. James. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to take Brock over here and uh, make sure he's off at 385 because I think that's what goes to Tahoe. But uh, anyways, here's Tri-Cities, more desert. More desert. <laughs> He's like, that's a, that's a good term for it. Oh. Tri-Cities. <laughs> Hey guys, so uh, just got done stopping off at McDonald's. <clears throat> Found myself uh, what should be a location for a cricket store. And uh, I'm gonna take Grok over by to get some batteries for his headlamp that he needed. And I'm gonna drop him off at 82. 
Interstate 82, which from there, it's a straight shot to 84, and then he'll be going to US 95. So I'll talk to you later here when I drop him off. Yeah, that door doesn't open. I gotta get it fixed. Here you go, brother. Yeah, man. All right, man. Well, you see You my got your email. What's your email, bro? All right. Just a second. Just friend me on Facebook. Friend me on Facebook and shit. I'm fucking terrible at that. I don't... I almost don't do any friends. All right. What's the email? Number one. PC. Puzzle. One piece puzzle at gmail.com. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever words. And that's just that's what that's what they do. Because <laughs> everyone. Yeah, no. We, 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 yeah, we, you don't know if I wipe my ass or not. <laughs> That's what they say, yeah. <laughs> hey, Crack, I'll, I'll, I'll pound next time for sure. <laughs> Later, bro. <laughs> hey, guys. So uh, I just dropped him off here at 82 for him um, so that he can go hit the road. Hopefully, he gets catches another ride pretty quick-like. That would be awesome for him. And... Uh, he told me he told me that if he had to walk uh, the rest of the way on this road, it wouldn't be a big deal since it's only like 30 miles to Hermiston. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Okay guys, so uh, I just got done um, filling up with gas, so I got a full tank again, and uh, I dropped off the gentleman that I decided randomly to drive all the way to Tri-Cities uh, when I ran into him when I was heading to the south side of uh, Moses Lake. So now I'm going to head back to Moses Lake to my friend's house, and uh, um, hopefully I'm not horribly late doing so. Um, or have them worried uh, it'll be about an hour and 20 minutes to get back to Moses Lake from here there's the Columbia River uh, there's a uh, central Washington Columbia Basin sunset right out over the Columbia River that's pretty nice Thought I'd sneak that in there for you hey guys so uh, it's uh, they four now um and i i'm getting ready to hit the sack it's been a long day and uh tomorrow i gotta get up real early in the morning and uh i'm gonna be headed over to uh wenatchee to uh finish getting my social security card reissued um that it went missing and then i'm gonna shoot over to seattle uh, I really hope to be able to catch Eric Jacobs when I'm over there, who's uh, the guy with Nomadic Fanatic. So I've been going back and forth with him uh, through messaging, and uh, it looks like it should be able to happen. So that's what my plans are for tomorrow. And I just want to tell you all uh, out there that, you know, get out there and connect with people and, uh, you know, live your lives, guys. Just like I always say, I mean, what, whatever it is, you know, tell me and I'll help encourage you or, or what have you. Um, but I want to see you guys get out there and really live it and, and don't just exist and go day to day, you know, and uh, um, just be there like I have in the past. And, uh, you know send send out the uh, karma to other people you know I mean if you come across somebody they want to live this lifestyle or or they want to do something else that really makes them happy and, and as long as it's not hurting other people 
you know, I mean, make sure you're encouraging them. Let other people live their lives. Peace.